Hey guys, this video is going to be about learning how to uh, work with nuts and bolts uh, kind of briefly and how to correctly use, uh, wrench on them. So what I do is I keep a couple containers, any, any used nuts and bolts uh, that are spare, sometimes I you keep them around because you never know if you're going to need them. Sometimes stuff fits. There'll be different things called what you got on here is going to be your threads and there's different thread pitches. Just like the, the heads can be, there can be a metric and a standard pitch. Most vehicles today, they're going to be metric. Not all of them, but some. And I'll show you an example. We'll just go with this one. This one was a 21 millimeter head. Also a 13 16 as, as before would fit on it. And another thing I'll show you is this 10.9. That shows you that's a metric also. Because uh, that's the, the hardness scale. That means this is 10.9 is the hardest you can get. It's, it's basically the, the, the strongest tensile strength. There we go. That right there is going to be a standard based on the head. There will be a bunch of hash marks as you can see. That's like a, I think that's like a grade eight, <clears throat> which would be the equivalent to like the 10.9 on the metric. So this is standard. That means these threads are going to be a different pitch. You see how tight, close together they can be and how far away they can be. Okay, what well my fingers are touching, those are, that's a washer. Oh, and this is a bolt. It's got to have the male end, that's a bolt. And this is going to be a uh, 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 nut and the way that you make sure that these go on and you don't end up doing a thing called cross threading is you're going to take this turn it counterclockwise around it until it gets to it slips on and start start to go clockwise <clears throat> it's super important because <clears throat> sometimes you can think that something's going on correctly and you're actually cross-threading it, and, and it's going to strip the threads, and it's going to ruin the bolt, and it can, and it can, it's, it's just bad. You have to start all over with a new fastener. So that's all for this lesson. Till next time.